We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D. And her family. Hello, everyone. How y'all doing on this nice, beautiful day? Today, we're making a delicious old-fashioned bread pudding, y'all. Yes, and here are our ingredients. In our large bowl, we are breaking up our bread. Then y'all know I am doubling my recipe, but in the recipe that I gave given you, it's a single recipe, okay? So um, I'm breaking up our bread and preparing it for our bread pudding. Or you can also use French bread or any other type of bread that you prefer. Okay, our bread is all ready. Now it's time to add in your sugar. Melted butter. Ground nutmeg. Ground cinnamon. We're mixing these spices in. Make sure you mix them in well. Now we're adding in our milk, or you can use heavy whipping cream. Now we're stirring our milk in. I'm pouring in a little of my milk at a time just to see how the the mixture is looking and I know I will need more milk. If you like your bread pudding like semi moist, use less milk. But if you want your bread pudding moist, use more milk. I've tasted the mixture and it needs more sugar, so I'm adding more sugar. You can always taste your mixture before you add in your eggs. But after you add in your eggs, uh, don't taste it, okay? I'm making sure our uh, bread mixture is well incorporated. And now we're adding in our eggs. Now we're mixing in our eggs. Make sure uh, you mix them in well. And now we're adding our vanilla extract. Letting you know you can add raisins to this recipe. I didn't have any at the time. Our mixture is almost there, but I'm have to add some more milk because I prefer my bread pudding moist. We are almost there, but after looking at our pudding mixture, I needed to add just a little bit more milk. What I like about bread pudding, you really can't go wrong with it. It all depends on what spices and how much you want in yours and the moisture of it. Some people like their semi moist and some people like their all the way moist, and that's me. As I'm stirring, I can smell the ground nutmeg and the ground cinnamon, and this kitchen smells amazing already. And now we're good to go. Now we're gonna move on to our next step. Here we're spraying down our baking dish, making sure that our bread pudding won't stick. I'm using a canola oil spray. Okay, since our baking dish has been sprayed down, now it's time for us to add in our bread pudding mixture. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now we're going to use our spatula and just spread down our bread pudding mixture as evenly as we can. We're going to place our bread pudding in a preheated 350 degree oven for 50 to 55 minutes. Okay, we're going to let our bread pudding bake, and then we're going to be back with the next step. Okay, our bread pudding is ready. Now it's time for us to make the sauce. Here I'm showing you a simple way to make your vanilla sauce. Yes, I'm using condensed milk because your sauce is made uh, with milk. And so... I said, and it has the vanilla in it, and all I'm doing just adding a little milk to it just to thin it out just a little bit. Letting y'all know this tastes absolutely delicious on top of your bread pudding. All I'm doing now is heating it up on a very low heat because we don't want our milk to burn at the bottom. So just turn it down real low, just enough to heat up your sauce. Okay, since our sauce has heated up, now it's time to pour it on top of our bread pudding. Y'all, my family really enjoyed this bread pudding along with the vanilla sauce. I'm going to finish pouring this and we're going to be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, we are back. Our bread pudding is ready to be served. I hope y'all enjoyed cooking with me as much as I always enjoy cooking with you all. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell to get our new and upcoming videos. And to all our new viewers and subscribers, you are welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel. Okay, y'all. As always, I'm going to say y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now. Love y'all. Stay safe and be blessed. My thought for today, remember you are beautiful. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. We are at home cooking with Miss Brenda D. So welcome from Miss Brenda D and our family. That's a hit!